Welcome fellow phoenixes to the Spiritual Phoenix Podcast, where we make a daily offering to the divine by putting our past on the pyre, searching the smoke for spirituality, turning the ashes into art, adapting isolation into connection, and manifesting mental wellness. I'm your host, Ross Cessna, and I'd like to take a moment and just focus on what we're grateful for today. Today, I'm grateful for people that care enough about me to be honest about how they perceive me. Having addiction issues and mental health issues, sometimes it can be difficult to perceive reality as it is and how I'm acting. Um, sometimes I fall into the trap of lying to myself and I've been in that situation lately. Um, and. I've hurt people that I care about because of my blindness to my own actions and words and thoughts. And I'd like to apologize to those people I have uh, privately, but I'd also like to apologize publicly. I'm not proud of how I carried myself. I, I do appreciate that they were honest. Um, and whatever happens, they have the right to do whatever they want, and I accept and respect their decision regardless. All I can do is work towards not doing those things again and realizing that I am still sick and I, I still have a lot more to grow. I, I fell into this mindset of, I am better or I'm overcome a lot of things and I have overcome a large portion of I shouldn't say a large portion uh, I'm being dishonest in that I've overcome some of my issues the elephant in the room though is my interpersonal relationships and falling into the trap of self-pity and uh, getting upset with other people for not acting or reacting how I expect they should and perceiving the situation to being different and not accepting reality which I always I don't always I've lately been realizing that that's the root of all my problems and when I start feeling bad about things it's normally because I'm doing something wrong or I'm looking at the situation wrong and I've been kind of down uh, the past week and it's relative to me it's not on anybody else and I, I got a, a dose of truth last night and it hurt. I, I mean, and truth hurts and it's not the person's fault for hurting me. They were absolutely justified in what they said and I respect and appreciate that they told me what they did. I didn't want to hear it when they said it. Um, thankfully, my higher power and my own conscious kept looking at it. I recorded uh, two other episodes today and I had to take them down because it was just me spewing disease. And after going to a 12-step meeting and hearing what other people said, um, it was serendipitous because all the things that were brought up today are issues that I was having. And I, I still am, I mean. So with that, I'd like to get into the uh, quotes for today. Self-pity is easily the most destructive of the non-pharmaceutical narcotics. It is addictive, gives momentary pleasure, and separates the victim from reality. And that was said by John Gardner. And the following quote's one of my own. Self-pity is poison. One slip will slowly cause necrosis to my spirituality and eventually intoxicate me to the point of justifying things that I will regret when I come to reality. And... That's very true of this situation. Um, I was feeling sorry for myself and I justified my actions and in the process of doing so, I hurt somebody I cared about and in turn hurt myself because of that. I've heard it said that hurt people hurt people and that's what I did. Um, I, I'm better than what I was, but being better than what I was when I look at it doesn't mean that I'm 
where I need to be. And I can make excuses till I'm blue in the face. There is no excuse. I broke principles and understandings and disconnected from the things that have been helping me progress. And I became uh, very self-centered and uh, lost some self-awareness and lost uh, my touch with reality and was very uh, inflated in my ego in many regards. This situation uh, shattered the glass tower that I had built and I'm, I'm grateful for it in many ways. I am not grateful for how I made someone else feel and for pushing them um, and putting them in that situation. I, I don't want them to feel guilty of, about things and, and hopefully they don't. I hope that they're okay with how they acted because they were absolutely justified in it. And I, I don't say that in a, a roundabout way. I, I deserve to hear what I heard because there was truth in it. I mean, it was true. I shouldn't say there was truth in it. It was true. Um, and it, it was a lesson. I really isolated myself and was full of myself. And that situation brought to light what addiction is about. And it's about self-centeredness and self-pompousness. So that, that slice of humble pie, uh, it, it helped me. And the positive in that situation is that my normal response to this would have been extreme anger, hatred, and then upon finding out that it was me, self-loathing, um, and, and just destroying myself. I came to a, a point where I, I'm, I have to accept how I acted. I, I can't neglect that. Part of making peace with it is accepting it and expressing that I, I'm still not well. And I find myself to be hypocritical right now, but the thing I remember is that I am human and I have made progress and just because I've regressed somewhat, I didn't use over it and I was able to come to a resolution of my own misconception about the situation um, substantially quicker and before I could inflict more harm as I understand it. Uh, so I'm grateful for the person who brought this to light. I'm grateful for my higher power allowing me to see my own mistakes and I'm grateful for myself to be able to admit that I made a mistake. It wasn't easy. Um, it didn't make me feel good at all. And uh, with that, I'd like to put this episode on the pyre. And uh, you can check the links below to all my social media accounts. If you are listening to this, you can watch a video of me talking on YouTube. And if you are watching me talk on YouTube, you can listen to me on iTunes and SoundCloud. I do free tarot readings occasionally. And I'm building up a database so you can select a reading at random choice or read the most recent reading. A link is in the description. Please leave a review on iTunes if you like the podcast as it helps me reach new listeners. You can contact me via message on Facebook if you have any topics you wish to bring to light. You can also potentially be a guest on the show. Ideally, you will have dealt with a major life obstacle you have overcome or are overcoming and have a... Uh, positive story or positive outlook or philosophy that you've gained from it. Uh, please take the time to respond to the PodTrack listener survey as it helps me understand my audience. Also, if you would like to get paid to write, click the link below. All you have to do is write five sentences in English. With that, I love, respect, and appreciate all of you. Love and light. Namaste.